What's good, YouTube? Chris from Team Innovation here, and I hope this camera angle is pretty good. Last video, <coughs> camera angle was kind of jacked up. You guys only saw my head. But I hope this is a little bit better. I checked it, so yeah. If any complaints, let me know in the comments down below. Welcome to another episode of Locals Report. So in this episode of Locals Report, I'm going to give you guys two reports from two different locals. One on Monday and one on today, Wednesday, from the same local cost on games. So without further ado, let's begin. Locals on Monday. I did pretty well. I went X1. I only lost against Herald of Ultimates.deck. But I'll get to that match. So um, yeah, round one, played the mirror. I really hate playing the hero mirror because honestly, it's like... Whoever can set up dark, a field of dark law with back row first pretty much wins. And you have to commit to the board to um, get rid of dark law and hope they don't have a, um out. So yeah, basically, long story short, I went first game one, OT camp. Now he went first game one, made dark law. I had to out dark law and I OT paid him. Game two, um, he made dark law, I believe. Long story short, I OT paid him again, so. Beat him 2-0. That's nothing more to be said. That round two, I played up against Cleford. Went to game three. The hands put in work. Um, yeah, hands plus Dark Lords, DJ, and Cleford. Nothing really more to say against that. Um, I OTK'd on one game, which is pretty cool. Yeah, my new hero build OTK a lot, and I will be bringing you guys a hero OTK tutorial, so be on the lookout for that video as well. Round three is when I played up against the Herald Ultimate deck, and um, yeah, I went for he went first round, um, game one. He ends up, we, we went back and forth. I luckily drew the outs and had a, no, because he had a board of hair. He set up Herald Ultimate, um, his build is very consistent. He set up Herald Ultimate um, first turn, and I had to basically bait out everything in his hand. He paid up all the costs, and I eventually was, I think, I was able to make a pastel to get rid of Herald Ultimate, and he pretty much lost from there. But yeah, I had to burn these, like, four cards. Luckily, I had the four cards to burn through to get rid of Herald Ultimate. And then, um, game two and three. <laughs> He pretty much set up a field of Herald Ultimate is um, Arsenal Christia, both games, two and three. There's nothing you can do about that. So, GG, no re on me. Like, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. And then round four, I beat Shadow Owls 2 0. Um, game one, I followed up with an OTK play. Of, it was it was like, it was basically, when you basically set up Monk and Call of it's really easy to OTK with a new hero build, especially if the Monk lives. So, you can bring Armageddon Knight, Pop Rack Row. And fusion shenanigans, and yeah, retardedly good. Then game two, I OTK him again. I flipped over. Um, basically, I had Dark Law and Royal Command GG no Ray. So that's Monday. Locals went really wet, swell with my X1. Kind of soft, mad I lost against Harold Osman, but it is what it is. That's Yu Gi Oh! Ain't nothing, ain't nothing no one could do. I don't care what deck you use, you can't beat a field of Arthur Christie and Harold Osman. You just can't. Um, okay, come today. Round one played the nah. Round one today, I played with his net cross. I beat him 2 0. And he's fairly new to net cross, so I'm, I'm cutting him slack on the deck. Um, he said he drew brick hand. I don't really know how brick off the neck will draw a brick, but it is what it is. I ended up beating him. Mistake, I mean, not mistake, shared right, didn't work game two. So he couldn't go off. And in game one, I just had to. A good out like Dark Law was pretty much good, and I have finished Chain and Bottom, so it is what it is. And then round two played against the Mirror, a subscriber of mine. Um, yeah, he he got me game one. He set up Dark Law. It, it's crazy because he's playing my build too. Yeah, shout out to my subscriber guy. He um yeah Warren. I can't believe I forgot your name for a minute. Shout out to Warren. He whooped my ass. Game one he set up a set of Dark Law. And he had um, warning and ring and finish hand. I couldn't do anything. Game two, I set up Dark Law. He couldn't do anything. This is why I hate the mirror because it's really redundant. Game three, he had back row, and we went back and forth. He side decks for the mirror. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I was siding for the mirror at one point, but I want to try out Forbidden Chalice to help out my shot all matchup. And yeah, he flipped over to Defuse and when I made Dark Law, and I lost. Pretty much, that's what it was. It was silver set of dark hollow back row first. Pretty much wins, like, because you can't get your misplays off. It's just the mirror match for heroes is really annoying. Stupid. Whoever goes, whoever goes first definitely has the advantage. So yeah, that's pretty much a coin flip game. Then uh, round three, played against Dolls. He just destroyed me game one. Um, 
I oh when he let me he let me go first. I, I actually was able to make Dark Law. But I play her. I let him bait me into burning off my mass chain. He made he summoned Squig Model. I'm like, okay. He attacked from Shadow Mist. I'm like, okay, after mass chain. Not thinking about oh shit, he's gonna chain El Shot off. He's not, honestly I forgot El Shot off. He was doing a card. So he when I when he attacked with Squig Model, I flipped over um Mass chain. He chained El Shadow Fusion, brought out um, Construct. My other back row is a Lance, so I'm debating on like, okay, um, I can Lance with Squick Mata and hope and hope in hopes of him not having um, any materials in his hand, so he burned his um, El Shadow Fusion. So, uh, cause you know, Lance ain't gonna do shit against Construct. Construct pops any special summon monster at will. So I bit the bullet, Lance with Squick Mata. He had more materials in his hand. His shut off with the graveyard, he got all their effects, and he got over my Dark Law. And I'm like, crap, and the game pretty much went down from there. Game two, he let me go first again. Well, I went first, but I lost. Um, I set up Dark Law and pass, pretty much. I didn't activate Dark Law right away, but I was able to set up Dark Law pass. I had a ring destruction and um, some, I think it was Phoenix Chain. No, it was MST, so. He, I think it was Lancer or MST, whatever. He blind space like a goofy. Oh yeah, I had um I had ring and I had um something else. Anyway, he blind spaces. He knew it was a bad play. He said he, he was just risking it because I guess he thought like he didn't he couldn't really go off. Anyway, he blind spaces the random back row. He didn't hit the ring. Um, he make he I think he I think he L shot out or regular shot off. He did. Now he L shot off because that's what he had in his hand. Made construct. Try to attack construct our um, ring destruction and it pretty much went downhill from there. And he lost. Game three came up. I went first again. This time was not able to make Dark Law open up my Armageddon Knight with some back row. So some Armageddon Knight send the miss, grab Blaze Man pass. Actually, I set up I set up Lance and I set up on um, Vanity. So I, I opened up Vanity like almost every game. And he summoned Dinko, did a bunch of shout out wombo combos, got me down to like 3300. There was limit, limited what I can do. I had Chalice, so I chaliced his window, Regeki this field. Field left. Um, he got back the little Shadow Bat thingy. I polymerization my Blaze Man and the Bubble Man I had in my hand for a Nova Master. Attacked the guy, draw a card. Uh, his following turn, he tried to do something, I forgot. I flipped over Vanities, he passed because he didn't want to set a monster and let me draw. Um, I, w I had Shadow Miss in hand. I didn't want to summon a monster and attack because I felt like if I can just lock him out with the Vanities, I'll be in a good position because I don't want to risk him summoning a monster, poke over my own. Attack over my Shadow Miss, and then I'll be. So, Vanity is the only way I was going to win that game at that point because I didn't have a Mash Chain to go with the um, Shadow Miss. I'm like, okay, I need to rip a Mash Chain or something. So, I just poked for 26, thrown down to 54, pass. Um, he drew for his turn, rips the Regeki, Regeki, my Nova Master, got rid of my Vanities. Um, he still didn't do anything, surprisingly. I don't know why he didn't do anything. He passed. And I guess he was just trying to set up board. I think he had a brick hand. So he passed, he didn't say anything in. So I'm like, okay, I ripped the um, Hero Live. And this is where I play right. I have Monk, Shadow Mist, and Hero Live in hand. I was debating on going Monk, Hero Lives to grab it on a Shadow Mist. But I'm like, I'm a Hero Live because if we have Baylor, because he does play Baylor and he's like, the Baylor, I'll be in a bad position if I just go Monk and waste my own card. So I figured his hand was bad because he was just holding everything in his hand. So Hero Lives, was looking for Shadow Mist. Forgot I didn't have a Shadow Mist up my deck because I dumped. Two of them, one with Army Gate Knight and one with Blaze Man. So I had to get Bubble Man on my deck. Um, at that point, I'm like, yeah, I lost. Ain't nothing. I got a Monk, Bubble Man on field, Monk, and Shadow Master Hand. And he had 5,400 left damage left. I can only press the field for 4,500 with um, Blade Armor. So I could have made a Best Dweller, but it really didn't matter. So I said, fuck it. Maybe he'll just pass again, and then I'll be a game where he'll set a monster and go for game the following turn. And long story short, attack twice. Hit him Bring him down to a thousand in his turn. He pretty much said he got game. He had BLS, El Shut All, Shut All Fusion, and it was pretty much over. So, yeah, Locus was pretty shitty for me today, but not mad. I think that player I made game one cost me the game, definitely. I should have knew better when he attacked with some Squick Modern that he was going to change. He was baiting out my mass change. Like, but sometimes we all make mistakes. It is what it is. I'm trying to get myself ready for nationals because I do not know if I'll be going to the 150th. Like 150 is an iffy, iffy right now. I'm guaranteed going to nationals. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get there, but I'm guaranteed going to nationals. 
I just don't know if I'm going to one fifty or not, so I just see this all as play testing. But all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's local report. And as always, comment down your results from the past few locals in the description down below. Well, not in the description, but in the comment section down below. And of course, I do these videos. So I truly believe in helping you guys become better players. And I also do these videos. I truly believe in you guys helping me become a better player. This is Chris from Team Innovation, and I'm signing out. Peace.